Three, two, one, we are. This is 2OF Entertainment. first time i've actually ever watched the animation those cartoons are pretty cute so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you know well, uh, doing it like 10 years but it's about time i started to watch the stuff yeah mm -hmm. well you know you, you should watch the stuff on the show i think that's uh that's yeah, sometimes yeah. help we uh we've they're all in today we've bust the whole mother load in so uh oh, just say hello everybody yeah oh, nice nice i'll bust the, I'll yeah. bust the mother load once yeah it was wonderful yeah they're all in. They're all in today. They're all in today, and, and they can't wait. Uh, I can't they wait can't either. Wait. Made they some changes. Wait. I heard on some stuff. I'm all excited to see it. Yeah, yeah, you know, because we listen, and um, it's been, yeah, we it's listen. Quite, okay. <laughs> there's, 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 quite, there's been some quite remarkable stuff happening. So yeah. um, let's just uh, let's let's let's, let's dive uh, in. Get into the show. All right, kids. Here we go. Today's topics are. If we spin the wheel, there we go. Today we have strange and weird facts, the rant of the week, on the day, lost words, knobby news, sex horoscopes, which is a fan favorite, conspiracy theories, could you live here, birthday cake, and the AI slut of the week. All right. There we go. There Here we, we go. go, kitties. Are you Where ready? Oh, I look to be ready. All right, strange and weird facts. Which animal's fingerprints are so similar to humans that they can taint a crime scene? Yeah. A gorilla. A gorilla, okay. A gorilla. Okay. A gorilla. Well, we'll, 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 we'll back that up. We'll back, the, that, uh, we'll uh, back that up, that's it, funny. We'll back that up in, on, in, into the crime scene, and, um, and uh, we'll go on from there. So um, yeah. everybody knows. And again, everybody, there's millions of people who are watching it now. You know, don't don't Google it and, and cheat because they you do. Know, it's a, uh, yeah, I know it's they a do. drinking game at colleges now. They see who can yeah. get it right, yeah. and then they okay. then they watch the sex horoscopes to see if they're going to get laid. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, Strange well, let's, let's, we're off. The rant, rant of the week. week. Here we go. Yeah. Before we go to the rant of the week from Miss Eileen yeah. Over in Beaver Lick, Kentucky. Oh, possibly, possibly. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the only person that ever writes into this show. Um, David was telling me before we came on air that people complain about our sex horoscopes. They say it's not woke enough. So those people, we're going to make it even more sex horoscopes. Um, we don't yeah. care about woke. I don't know if you've watched the show before, but if you haven't, you're screwed. If you have, you know, woke isn't our thing. We just like to have a bit of fun. So if you don't, yeah. can't laugh at yourself and can't laugh at life, yeah, get the fuck out of here. And there you go. All right. Let's exactly. start with the yeah, yeah, no, of course, the other, thing, the other thing is, yeah. I mean, it's an, it's an important piece of knowledge, Stephen. For, I don't know for you who, know, but sure, we can go with that. Yeah, you know, it's an important piece of knowledge. You should know that before you go into this next, this following week now from Hollywood Wednesday, um, you should just know, <clears throat> excuse me, you should just know what your chances are of um, getting some nookie. Getting laid. Basically. Yeah, getting yeah. laid. Yeah, got it. So here we go. Unless mm -hmm. you're a porn star, then it's guaranteed. All right, automatic toilets by Eileen Over. Beaver, Lick, Kentucky, USA. Yeah. Who decided automatic toilets were a good idea? Well, apparently you don't have indoor plumbing in Beaver Lick, so shut yeah. up. They either yeah. flush before you're done or never flush at all, leaving you doing an awkward dance so you can trigger the sensor in the bathroom. Not a game of charades. Um, I don't have that problem. So I can't relate to okay. that. So Eileen, I'm sorry that you still are using an outhouse in Beaver Lick, Kentucky. Um, and you'll just have to deal with it, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Well, maybe the, 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 I think I think they're still doing the old bucket and chuck it. Wow, yeah. that's exciting. Yeah. What was yeah. that guy? What's that? What was the guy called? The collected poop that we uh, the word we learned. Oh yeah, gong farmers. Yeah, a gong farmer. Yeah. yeah, they got a gong farmer there. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I was thinking. I was thinking to myself last night. That's got to be a name for one of our new shows coming up. Gong, gong farmers. <laughs> I love it because I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> I would start off with a gong. You know, like bong. Right. There you go. So, yeah, Miss Eileen, or, or, or we could smoke a lot of dope on the show and do it, call it uh, Bong Father. 
Follow. Yeah, no, I, I only smoke cigars. Sorry, um, uh, but yeah, it's automatic toilet thing. I not a rant, not nothing. No. It's nothing. Who cares? And no, if you buy a no. good one by Toto, the guys in Japan, it does everything from clean your tuchus to give you a, a little happy ending when you're done. It's a yeah. it's a beauty. So, so yeah, I, I have so, no problem um, my own activity. Guys, here we go. Oh, is that one of your genius guys came up with this out of all the emails? Yeah, so, yeah, it was it, it was probably Hanky Panky. I'll just ask Hanky Panky. Hanky Panky, hola, baba, baba, di, Hanky Panky, Panky. Can we take him out back and just shoot him like a horse? No, he was really good. He got us through last week. Remember, he saved us from from your yes. wrath. Yeah, let's do that. All right, what else you got? <laughs> well, the thing is that the thing is, of course, that um, on the answer machine when I came back, so I've been out and and, and had. Had a procedure done today. The fact that you're an answering I... machine just did you. Go ahead. So. Well, I'm I'm up with the kids, Stephen. It's all, you know, I know all the words and everything. It's like, okay. uh, all, you know, it's like far out and groovy and all that stuff. I've I've, yeah, I've been sure. there. So I, I like it. so this I haven't I haven't heard it myself. I just come in. The light was flashing. Yeah. Um. So um. We'll just find out what's on the uh, no snobs and knobs uh, answer machine, machine for, sure. for this week. Here, here we go. Uh, yeah. My name's Becky. I'm a Capricorn. Um, I'm 26 years young, and I live in my own apartment. I own my own cat. I wash my own clothes. Um, my clothes are all combustible. Uh, I have two friends. One of them's a bird. Um, I like uh, Breaking Bad. I watch TV a lot. I, I like Can we shoot television. this person and get it over with? Um, so yeah, if you're interested, just uh, give me a call. I'll no one's interested right in you. Here and we can, uh, no, we're good. Something. Thanks. No, we're not going to talk. <laughs> no, no, loser. No, no. Bye, bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that was on the uh, that was on the answering no, machine. Answer, answer machine wow. Today when I came in, so I, you got you know, two fans that left you messages. Eileen over last week that said she's a trophy wife and whatever that was, telling you that they want to kiss you. Oh, you got that. That book and oh, well, I, 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 I did originally think that that was the message was for you, Stephen. But um, but well, let's no, no, it's for you, Justin. I tell you, that's what... <laughs> mine would start on off day. on a hot Asian hooker. Okay, let's see. On this day, what happened on this day, which would be November thirteenth? What happened on November thirteenth? Here we on go. On this day, the Great Nor'easter Blackout. Wow, oh, I looked through that. <laughs> A massive blackout and over 30 million people across the northeastern United States and part of Canada on November 13th, 1965. While the power was restored the next day, the weirdest part is in the nine months later, New York, which is very true, saw a mini baby boom, learning the nickname Blackout Baby Boom. It remains one of the largest and most memorable blackouts in history. I lived in the city. I was three years old and I re don't remember it, but I remember it like it was 35, 40, 60, 100 years ago. Okay, well, guys, um, I, I got a funny feeling he might like this. Well, what do you think? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, it's not him. It's not him. It's, it's, it's Hanky. He did it. Right? Who, who, who's is this? Who's came up with this idea? Hanky. Hanky. I think it's one of Hanky's. What you Hanky. 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 Sure. It's easy for him to say. Yeah, keep your enthusiasm down, please. Yeah, please. Anyway, well, right. it's... Um, cause Very cool. The Great Northeast Blackout. There's another one in the 70s, too, but I remember this one yeah. as a child. Sure. Yeah, well... Yeah, yeah. I remember it's sitting there watching probably, I don't know, Wall Street this nothing. week on PBS when the power went well, out. Probably nothing. Okay, let's move on. Lost oh, words. Lost okay, words. here we go. Here we go, our guys. Lost word this is of the day. We've got a cracker this week. Lost word. What the petty fuck? Fog. Petty, petty fogger. Fog. It doesn't say. It, it doesn't say uh, what the fuck. It says petty fogger. Petty. What do you fogger. think petty fucker means? Petty fucker. Petty fogger. Petty fogger. Petty fogger. A petty fogger. Yeah. A, oh, petty like a pedophile. Well, I don't know, Stephen. I'm asking you. Uh, petty what do you fogger. Think? I have no. I'm gonna listen. It's as close as it's, a petty fogger sounds like pedophile. So that are you? Okay. It's a petty fo you pet frogs. I have no idea. Let, anyway, what's no, a petty let's, fogger? Let's, Oh, yeah. I mean, you learn something new every week on this show, do you I not? I do. I do. Here we go, then. Oh, we go. Let's build some suspense here. Eddie Frogger is a disreputable, underhanded lawyer 
concerned with riles or dishonor. So basically, every attorney is a petty frogger. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Petty so, frogger. There you so go. So these are uh, mm. what I'm trying to do, of course, because I know you're on a lot of uh, boards of a lot of co companies. So you you you've obviously got quite a few gong farmers on these boards and petty foggers to, too and, and, and petty foggers yeah i say don't we had a discussion a last fire. night with our petty foggers on a board and they did not like yeah. what came out of my mouth so yeah so they so they accused you last night of being a gong farmer so uh, well, no, they, so they i accused them of a whole bunch of stuff so yeah I was, so uh that's interesting stuff so you can use that now i'm trying to to you know in, in, increase increase your vocabulary which is easy for me to say but yeah. uh, so uh, let's not. So was that a winner or a loser? That one. Let's uh, let's just see. That was an interesting one. I don't know if it's like in the middle. I don't know if it's a winner uh, or a loser. But it was. It was okay. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Winner or user? What do you think? Uh, we well, we've got. So we've got a coach loaded. What about you, lot? What do you think? <laughs> What do they know? They know what college is for a living. Let's go. So. They think it's a winner, Stephen. And I'm, well, doing my very, I'm, very, I'm doing my very best here, of course, to educate you and. Uh, oh, I know. Here. And the fan. Sure. Uh, and, uh, well, two of them now. Two, two other, fans now. Yes, I forgot. Some okay. other random woman who wants to date you. Yeah, we'll move on. Yeah. Ah, not being used of the week. Thank God. Something finally yeah. I possibly enjoy all right what do we yeah. have <laughs> are you sitting comfortably i'm always sitting comfortably yeah are you ready for this because we got some crackers in here. here we go north korea soldiers addicted to porn thanks to putin's unrestricted internet access oh my go. god i love it already adult content is banned in north korea kim jong oh, yeah. Um, regime closely monitors internet usage, and those lucky enough to have access are only able to watch 28 websites. <laughs> None, wow. Well, I bet one of them is this show. None of them yeah. are pornography. Soldiers reportedly become addicted to porn since arriving in Russia to fight for Vlad. Um, representing North Korea monitors outlawed use sections of the internet, including adult content through Russia. Also, censors content like Pornhub, really? There are several unmonitored un un sites that the soldiers will be accessing one uh commenter claims that north korean soldiers are gr are gr gorging. What are gorging, gorging on porn gorging on the north porn. korean soldiers are addicted to porn congratulations you're finally part of the real world so. whoa guys hey all right all right yeah well you should have been watching porn you should have been putting up the news bit anyway that's really well, cool. That's the North degree North oh. Korean soldiers addicted to porn. Really? I like that. Really cool, that's he best. said. Really yeah, cool. That's, yeah, oh. that's a good one. Now oh, let's see how okay. much you can screw it up with the rest of the show. All right, here we go. <laughs> Number two. Sick man brought to bank on hospital bed to confirm his identity. Yeah. Okay, this will be great. A severely sick Chinese man was eating dim sum. No, that was pushed into a local bank branch on the hospital bed by his family in order to confirm his identity for a money transfer. What the heck? Despite explaining to the bank manager that the account holder was hospitalized because of severe health problems, the family was told the only way to access the account was to bring them, bring him in. Okay. Yeah, in person. Yeah, yeah. The man was yeah. so sick that he could not move from his own bed, but um, even evidence of the hospital failed to convince the bank staff. So they had no choice, but to wheel him in to confirm his identity. Yeah. Interesting. Only in China. So uh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Well, you know, what, what do we think, guys? Silence. Yeah, that's oh. kind of, it was that it was interesting. Yeah, it's, it's not as good as the North Korean soldiers being addicted to porn, I'll tell you that. So, yeah, well that, that, this that, is good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well did you you know? He's, he's not both they're, right, they're they're right to be quiet because they realize they're just going to get either fired or shot later. So they should be quiet. Right now. Oh yeah, well, all right. Don't do that. He's, he, he, he's, you know, without him, we've got nothing. Anyway, <laughs> we're off. Um, <laughs> all right, so off we go. All right, number three. Let's see what number three is. <clears throat> Startup charges patients to be. Five thousand to screen embryos for uh, fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Oh, sorry, fifty thousand. Startup charges patients to be 
Parents to be. I'm parents sorry. to be. Parents yeah. to be. Fifty thousand to screen embryos for yeah. higher IQ. If yeah. you're that stupid, then you deserve to be scammed. An American startup called Scams Are Us is charging wealthy parents to be able up to fifty thousand yeah. to screen their embryos for IQs and other desirable traits. This controversial territory tends to normalize the idea of superior and inferior humans, but according to an undercover video footage um, obtained by a campaign group, hope, not hate, of course, yeah. at least one cool. um, GMA prediction company began selling its services to parents who can afford them. That's the stupidest thing in the world. So you're gonna pay 50,000 to see if your kid's a genius. Yeah. Well, yeah, basically it's it's <laughs> it's genetic engineering. It's like, oh, okay, you're pregnant, but we don't want that one. Okay, yeah, you're pregnant, we'll have that one. You know, it's um it's uh oh smack so it should be really I mean it should have called the company boys from Brazil and had done with it. But um Yeah, this is this is know. definitely a boys from Brazil. This is like yeah. in it, it's not that it's not good, it's just disturbing. That's it's the society the we're living in. It's like if you have yeah. billions of dollars now, basically you're going to genetically engineer your child. Children, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's or, crazy. Or, so, or somebody else's, which is even Ooh, more. Oh, that'll be fun. Let's even, do that. Let's, even, let's screw the whole even, generation. Even more disturbing. All right. Oh, so, uh, that, all right so, so this is had... Boys from Brazil. I like it. I, I yeah. actually have oh, Boys yeah, from oh, Brazil. Oh, 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 so who's with that? Who's that? You're well, he saw, he seems to be on a roll. We kept him. The rest we threw out last week because they were rubbish. But we kept yeah. Hanky because uh, you know he was he was doing the biz. So yeah. uh, off we go. We're off. Number four: Scientists warn men could become extinct due to testicle mutilation. Ma yeah, yeah. What, what did I say? Scientists warn that male species become extinct as a Y chromosome for, for uh, and beginning to fail. Today, a number of Y chromosomes continue to dwindle. The gender of both human mammals are determined by X and Y chromosome. But experts yeah. say men shouldn't panic, okay? It's funny okay. that people are getting so upset about losing the Y chromosome. Rough calculations are that we've got another six or seven million years with the chromosome. Um, before it's completely gone. After that, the new sex determining gene will be developed as seen as some road. Basically, it'll be whatever the boys from Brazil um, is going to yeah. be it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we thought, we, you know, we, uh, we, we had did a bit the one last week about free. You did the one about heating up the balls last week and killing the sperm, and nobody cared. So this is one yeah, of these um, nobody cares. Yeah. Well, I, I, that, that, that's what I said to the boys here. I said, you know, we'll, 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 we'll put it in. Yeah. I don't think you. I don't think you can get enough sperm in a show. So we thought we'd, um, you know, we'd, <laughs> we we thought we just we we just go for it. But um, I yeah, I mean, uh, when, when I finished reading, I mean, I you know, I'm I should have a t-shirt that says I'm addicted to clickbait. But after I finished yeah. reading it, I thought, <laughs> really? Because I thought it was going to like say six months, six years. Yeah, right. Six know, or seven million 16. years. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The well, planet won't even be here in six or seven million yeah. years. Some of us will be all right, but uh, yeah, let's move on. And the next one is Jealous Woman number five. Jealous Woman stabs boyfriend after he greets another woman on the street. Okay. Yeah. A 23 year old Argentinian man tragically lost his life at the hands of his jealous girlfriend who attacked him with a knife for simply greeting another woman on the street. Uh, whatever her name is, was or whatever his name is, Mario was stabbed to death by a jealous girlfriend after greeting a former schoolmate on the street. The woman simply greeting was enough to drive the man crazy as she pulled out a hidden knife and attacked him, um, but failed to kill her. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, Mario was not so lucky after, after filing to kill the woman who had um, sparked her rage, um, took out our boyfriend, stabbing him in the chest. Okay. Okay, that's just stupid. Jealous woman stabs boyfriend after greeting another woman on the street. That's stupid. I mean, like, just, just words, it's beyond words. But it is in Argentina, so you should save this one and show it to John on Friday for Lost Dollar Business Club, because I'm sure he'll appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And then we can so see. This, uh, I, look, I, I did say these guys. I said it. Yeah. 
That's true. That's that. You know, yeah, we we don't mind. We don't mind. We're, we're happy to have a lot of sperm on the show, but you know, murder, different. It'd be if it was a funny murder. It is just a pathetic, crazy chick killing some guy. Yeah, yeah. It'd just for better, saying hello. Like, yeah, just for that's stupid. Yeah. That's dumb. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. we got stupid people. Well, Weird you know, news from around it's, the world. It's, it's 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 most of our audience. We're all number six. Baby hippo moving furry over Trump victory as internet says throw him in the air in fryer. The air fryer. Yeah. What the hell? That, cute, yeah. I know who the cute baby moo moo is there. And the latest sensation on the um, face online trolls after she correctly predicted Donald Trump's election success. Yeah, okay. Moo yeah. was um, translates into bouncy pork, bouncy pork. Okay, oh. in Thailand, yeah. tucked into a watermelon. Uh, Case engaged Trump's name uh, with Harris. Uh, Trump has uh, since swept a massive election victory over Harris, no kidding, in the U.S. And some in it, though, in Thailand could be to blame. Yeah. One X, I guess, Twitter, one Twitter yeah. user said, we put, we're we putting Moon Boo in the air fryer. Others are saying swarm protest. Oh, bro, the fuck up. It's just a gig so they can get publicity for the fat hippo, which is probably what your wife is, a fat hippo. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Baby Moo Moo. Yeah, not going to fry her. I like the baby yeah. Moo Moo anyway. Yeah, no, there you yeah. go. But, um, but uh, only here. Only here would, uh, would, you, would you find out that all the, all the woes of American politics are down to a Entirely baby with a baby hippo. Yeah, Stupid who happened to eat, who just happened to, to choose a watermelon. Oh. With the name Trump written on it, dude. Anybody with anybody with a brain knew Trump was going to win. We kept saying that for weeks. We thought we yeah. wanted the other person, but we knew Trump was going to win. Everyone said that. So yeah, they, you can't blame the hippo. It's people didn't get out and vote. And the Democrats don't have a party. They suck. So the winner really is North Korean soldiers. Porn. North Korean soldiers addicted to porn. Thanks to Putin, that is the winner, hands down. Yeah. So Evident, yeah. evidently they're having uh, this is well, there's quite a big thing over here in in Hull. It's actually on the national news as well, and uh, there was a lot of people complaining that um, you know they were just they were just so became so uh, so obsessed with all of this that they that the kind of discipline is virtually disappeared. They can't get them to do anything. They they just want to stay in the barracks and and watch all the rumpy bumpy. So. Uh, oh, and they should give yeah. them rubby bumpy uh, in North Korea, and they wouldn't have this problem. Yeah, indeed. Well, so, uh, you know, oh, well. 28, 28 websites, the choice is massive. Well, and I know that our show is very popular, our channel on YouTube. So it's yeah. very uh, good. All yeah. right, Sex Horoscopes, which is a fan favorite. So they're going to be, what, 15 seconds long? So we get the nod off. So these yeah. are going to be longer than normal. So there's no way to speed them up. <laughs> we need to end it sooner. Yeah, so we're, just we'll gonna, uh, we're just going to see how it goes. Um, uh, no. But um, we thought, we thought, be, we thought we'd automate shorter. it because uh, it, it could be shorter next week. It could, um, we hope hopefully. it doesn't. But we, yeah, hopefully. It will, well, it will be if this one okay. doesn't work. I think it's too long, 15 um, seconds, but we'll see. But we'll see. Um, and the thing about it is, of course, is uh, there was lots of complaints about it being sexist. Yeah. So um, uh, I thought I'd I thought I'd add more sex to it. Nice. Uh, well, here we go. We take off the mics. We're off. All right. Aries, Aries ninety-one percent. Right. Yeah. So is is this what? chick in all of them, or is this chick? She's she, she's percent? in all of them. So, so you. Why so we have a different chick for all? Why, why well, we have... it would be, it would be very sexist if we did oh, that. I Here like we that. Go. Here we go. Oh, thank God. All right. So they were at ninety. What's the next one? Is Taurus at thirty yeah. percent? Yeah. I mean, really, you need, you need twelve different chicks. That's all I can say. There's yeah, a two. Well, yeah, I mean, find she's them. cute, but it's too long. You got, you you got to find them, Stephen. That's the thing. They're not everywhere. They're not everywhere. There we go. Next one. Oh, Gemini, 99%. Congratulations yeah. to the Geminis. They're going to get a little nookie nookie. Yeah, they're doing it again, are they not? Yeah, uh, they are. That's there's, it's something about, there's something about, yeah, there's them and the Libras. So I, don't know, I don't know what they're doing. This girl looks like she's about to have an orgasm. Yeah. Oh, that's why they're throwing. Oh. Uh, no, I get it. 
All right, yeah, cancer, ninety yeah. percent. Uh, it's very it's, good. It's, it's it's nookie week. You got, it's I'm nookie surprised. week. I yeah, know. After well, the election, got this, is this now is this an AI chip or a real chip? No, Do we pay for uh, this? Chip? She's available for uh, for use. <laughs> Is it an AI chick or a real chick? It's it's uh, well, obviously it's a lady who has no copyright. It would appear so. Well, that's why oh, we're on so there. But, but is she age? Leo is ninety two percent. By the way, is she AI yeah. generated or is she? No, no, a, like no, no. A human? She's uh, she's like a, like a human. Like so a human. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fifteen well, seconds yeah. goes really quick on this show. There we go. And Virgo, 98. 90, yeah. Wow, everybody's in the 90s this week. Yeah. And she's yeah, well, got like a little smirk going on. She could be a Virgo. I don't know. There you go. Yeah, she could be. She I wonder could, if that's her yeah. real hair, if that's a wig. We'll have to ask her. Is she going to oh, tell we'll have to get her. Right. Have her come on the show. She is on the show, Stephen. Sorry. Okay. I mean, like, have her come and do a speaking role. Libra, uh, 56%. They're not getting laid. Never mind. No. No. Uh, yeah. uh, that's over and done. Why is her hair blowing? I don't understand. I, I, I'm doing. I'm doing it. I do it from a distance. Just. Oh, uh, okay. But, you know, gotcha, gotcha. There you go. All right. Let's see what else we got. We've got the beautiful Scorpio, sixteen percent. Man, no wonder people don't like this part of the show. Sixteen yeah. percent. Well, Wait a minute. So, how did you get her hair to blow? Did you have a fan or something? Well, we've got we have fans on the show, so I use those. The two. The, the oh, fans so they're blowing. Got it. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see what the next thing is. It is tar. Oh, Sagittarius, ninety-seven percent. Sagittarius, yeah. yeah, yeah I like the, that. the election's gone, and everybody wants to, you know, get out there. Yeah, wait, some sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Um, so was she yeah. naked when you guys did this, or just you doing headshots? Uh, well, she's just got. She's giving. She's giving head shots. Ah. Uh, so, all right. Oh, Capricorn, eighty percent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that you know, that's yeah, all those goats are out there. You know, uh, doing they their get, thing. They'll eat anything, goats. Anything. You know that. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, At okay. the end, it looks like somebody just like touched her in the right spot. There you go. There you like, go. Hi, she you oh, there you go. Wow. She's trying to help been out. Blown. She's been blown, Stephen. That's what it is. Ah, an Aquarius, twenty-one percent bastards. Yeah. So yeah. I can't wait to see what the Pisces is now. All right, twenty-one yeah. percent Aquarius. So I still, I didn't. It hasn't been fixed for you. It's just, it's just out of the way. Just the way. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, sure. The wheel, the wheel, the wheel the spins. Is. Yeah, the wheel spins. What, what, what you got to offer? And last but not least, the Pisces is eighty-five percent, which gives us a total of one hundred and six. Which means I have a fifty. What you might call what a fifty-six percent chance. 53 yeah, percent chance 53 percent yeah. chance of getting laid this week hey good for me 50, right. 50, 50 what you call it 50 what you call it there you go very nice yeah. hey, well it's kind of a cute little segment it's about yeah. we can't just have yeah. 12 different checks chicks yeah well you know because there's the not all of them want to be blown and um and, uh, and you got copyright problems so uh, um, well, there you go so, uh, so we have to be we have we we do try and adhere well i mean you don't we, we try not to put too much um, you know, controversial stuff on this show. But really? let's move on. Well, you, have, you haven't watched our channel. All right, go ahead. Conspiracy theories. What's our conspiracy theory of the week? Conspiracy theory, the moon is a hologram. Some people yeah. believe that the moon we see in the sky is actually a hologram projected to hide something else. Sure, let's yeah. go with that. I've never heard of that. Okay. Oh, well, uh, let's, uh, what do you think, guys? He, he, he's up for that one. Hey! You know what I didn't hear yesterday? I did hear the dual moon hypothesis. The guy yeah. was saying, how do you see a moon during the day, like just say in New York or Texas or wherever, and yeah. then in Australia it's nighttime and they see a moon. And he said, if the, if the earth is round, they're in, in, theoretically there's no way for you to see the moon from New York yeah. to where it is in Australia. And I thought that yeah. was a very interesting. I was like, yeah, that's interesting. So you know, I'm well, sure this is, this is, well, we've, we've solved that mystery, Stephen. Look, we've solved. Well, it's that. a hologram. Now we know. Yeah, you know, I mean, if, and if you look, guys and girls, if you didn't know that before you watched this show, you know, it's is it real? Is it made up or an exaggerated tale? It would appear now that it's real. It is real. The moon yeah. is a hologram. Who knew? Congratulations. Who knew? Us. Yep, and uh, and what was that? Oh, your head's getting so big.
Yeah, maybe we should just do a whole show about conspiracy theories. Yeah. Or maybe we should you just have a whole show where Hanky's not in it. That would be more interesting. Well, let's, let's try and hurt his. Let's, let's move on. Hey, we got birthday coming up. Oh, could you live here? Could you live could here? You live where here? are we going to live today? Where would you like to live, Stephen? <laughs> Pluto. Where? Where is this? <laughs> this is uh, This is somewhere where I can find my mouse. Uh, because my mind, as my mouse just died on me, it has indeed. The uh, mouse. So I guess we're not gonna. I guess there's no place to live. Oh, there we go. I'll do it. There you go. Monkey yeah. Eyebrow, Baldwin County, Kentucky, named due to its curved shape like an eyebrow. Could you live in Monkey Eyebrow, Billard County, Kentucky? Monkey Eyebrow, really? Yeah. Let's yeah. check it out. Monkey Eyebrow. Monkey Eyebrow. That's going to be a difficult show to do now because I'm. Uh, I got it. Monkey Eyebrow, Kentucky. Monkey Eyebrow, Kentucky. There is nothing on Monkey Eyebrow, Kentucky. They don't even have it. Oh, they only tell you it's 361 feet. Monkey Eyebrow, Kentucky is generally in the northwest community of Jackson Parish. Um, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't even tell you how many people live in Monkey Eyebrow. Wow. No. That is a. No, it's a, it's a, a yeah. Right. Only, yeah. Only the best on this show. I right. see that. Oh, there you go. Answer for okay. the thing. What mammal or animal or whatever primate has close stuff to the thing? A koala? Really? I thought it was yeah. a gorilla. That's who? Yeah. Koala. Interesting. Yeah, I think that's wrong. Okay. By the way, your thing about the honey badger and the mongoose was wrong. It is the honey badger. I was right. So your facts yeah. were wrong last week. Well, that's well, wrong. whose was that? Who was that? Well, I'm just saying. So yeah. I don't know if this one's right. So now I have to start it out. So what your team puts yeah. out. But yeah, it's it's actually the honey badger. The honey badger can get bitten by anything, sleep it off, and come back. Just FYI. So I was right last week. It is done. Yeah. Oh, okay. A bit, like, a bit like a lot of New Yorkers in by the sound of it. All right, there then uh, let let's let's move on. We might have a little bit of a limited amount of stuff happening today. Because I'm uh, oh birthday cake birthday cake birthday cake. So uh, let's have a look and see whose birthday it is. Today is Robert Louis Stevens' birthday, thirteenth of November, eighteen fifty to eighteen ninety four. The Scottish novelist, poet, and travel writer, famous for works like Treasure Island. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll to Mr. Hyde and Kidnapped. He tells stories and interests in blah, 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 genre, genre of gothic fiction. So yeah. happy birthday to Stephen Robert or Robert Louis Happy Stephen. birthday! Yeah. Did we yeah. hire somebody for that? Well, we did, yeah. Yeah. Really? No, she did, she, she didn't make she didn't make it through the having it having been blown for the uh, for the uh, Sex horoscopes. Sex horoscopes. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. we, we we had to move on. Uh, as you know, uh, budget, budget. Yeah, budget. Um, yeah. I don't know, guys. What do you? What? Well, let's have a look at the studio audience. Are you? Are you happy with the? What, is this birthday thing going to happen or not? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Anyway, um, I've lost myself. I've lost myself in in self self adoration. Congratulations! Right, here we go. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, AI, are we on doing AI slide of the week now? Go on next. Uh, let's have a look. After we've got birthday cake, we've got yeah. Uh, week. Well, before we yeah, do that, yeah, I'll yeah, I'll play yeah. with the graphics at the end so you don't screw it up. Anyway, everybody, thank okay. you for watching or listening. Um, we hope you enjoyed the show, especially you people that love the sex horoscopes. Um, Next week, David will have, I'm sure, a new girl that will get airbrushed and will get sued. And uh, to the North Korean army guys in Russia, way to go, boys. You keep watching yeah. porn. We're very proud of you. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Tell your friends. And if you know any North Koreans, make sure you send them the show. So there you have it. So, yeah, so all right. Let's check out your AI slut of the week. We well, Because I think what we're going to do, I think what we might do moving forward, we might do the North yeah. Korean sex horoscopes. That should be interesting. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, sure, let's do that. That'll be know, fun. Yeah. So uh, we'll 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 see if Hanky's got some stuff around for that well, one. I'm but, sure uh, he will. Here we go then. 
Thanks everybody right, for watching. Have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye bye. Thank you.